Hey, everybody. It's seven minute health chat with Kim and Robin and our special guest today, Jeannie Lieberman. Today, we're going to talk about being grain free and sugar free. And Kim is going to give us some more information as she introduces her friend Janie to us. Take it away. Thank you. I'm so excited to have Janie Lieberman with us today. Janie is a longtime friend. I met her in ninth grade at Wesleyan Junior High School. (laughs) So we go way back and um, we kept in touch and we just basically followed each other's journey, you know, uh, via social media, which has been a good thing. And um, and Janie has a really compelling story as Robin and I are health coaches, and of course, we're all into the health and wellness world. Janie has been living this for a long time, and I really uh, wanted her to share part of her story and how she went, why and when and how she went sugar-free and grain-free. So Janie, I would love for you to open it up and tell us how you got started. Sure. Thank you, Kim. It's so great to connect with you. I've been following you here and really enjoy both of your Robin and Kim, your health chats here. And because I'm of the same mindset. And um, well, when we were in high school and, and junior high, I really was into a binge fast mode. So I would go up 20, down 20, binge on large quantities of food, most of it sugar. And then the way I thought to get it off was to fast. So it was that horrible yo-yo cycle, up and down in weight and binging and fasting and inability to control it. I didn't know why or what. So it fast forward, it wasn't until I found out from a therapist that I could get help. So I've been involved with a a support group and I've given up sugar and grains for, well, since August the 25th, 1996, so almost 26 years without exception. And um, I'm a carbohydrate sensitive person. I found that out. So once you find something out, then you can do something about it. So it starts with the awareness and then taking the action, which I've done. And I feel so much better. I obviously look better and, uh, and being healthier as the older I get is also just as important. Yeah, and so how did you, so when you found out you were carbohydrate sensitive and um, people should know what carbohydrates are, there are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of processed foods, their vegetables are carbohydrates though too. But I think what we're talking about are the processed foods and, um, and the grains that we talked about. So how did you then, did you just go cold turkey? when you gave up sugar and grains? Food plan that has um, a certain, certain vegetables, certain fruits and certain proteins. So um, that's what I did. That was like done. And, um, you know, to, to be on this, I needed to give those up. And I would say, you know, with any addiction, they say it's 30 days to get it completely out of your system at least. So mm-hmm. that's what and I never looked back and it's been a miracle. Um, I could not do it alone. I do have the support of other people that do this. That really helps, but um, eliminating them totally. Uh, I have no cravings. I'm not white knuckling it, which is horrible. And I completely got it out of my system. But like I said, it took, you know, 30 days and I didn't just have a little, I just no. And so it's grains for me and sugar. And I don't know if you want me to go into details. I'll wait for your further question. I'd like to ask one quick question. So with the sugar, there's sugars in so many things. And do you like do absolutely no sugar or like fruit and things like that or certain like under so many grams of sugar? How do you how do you handle that? Okay, that's a good question. Uh, what I do, um, first off, I read all ingredients and uh, not the carbohydrates in a food. I look at ingredients, colon. If it has OSC like um, dextrose, that sugar. If honey, modified food starch, all of those things. So if those are in the top five ingredients, so one, two, three, four, five, five, okay because it's negligible. But if it's in the top five, I don't even have the food. And I can tell you, like Knudsen cottage cheese, healthy, modified food starch right up there. Lewis Rich Ames, but I know those are the foods. Turkey, sliced turkey. I don't know why they feel they have to put sugar in it. So I go to other things. I mean, certainly I can have turkey and cottage cheese. I read the labels and then I find something that another brand that I can use. And yeah, I don't have honey. 
uh, and I don't have like sweet and low and or equal. The only um, thing I use is stevia, which is a natural herb from the rainforest. And mm -hmm. that's it. And, and fruit. I do have fruit in the morning. Yeah. And so fruit, you're getting, you're getting some fructose, but you're not going crazy with the fruit, correct? Fruit. I do fruit in the morning and no juice because it's very high in concentrate. I don't even have fruits that are high in sugar, like banana, watermelon, cherries, grapes. Yeah. And there's fruits that I'm, it's not like I'm in a little box, you know, I can, right. I get enough apples, fine. Yeah. And I know you've told me before that you get, I mean, you, you never feel deprived because you have a lot of choices still, of, but it's whole food that you focus on. Exactly. I'm, my vegetables and proteins, I choose not to have red meat, but mm -hmm. um, good, but I haven't in a long time. So fish, tofu, um, turkey, chicken, I do eat those meats and, and the vegetables. And there is some carb in yogurt. There are some carbs in the food I eat, but yeah. I have potato and rice and quinoa and even yam and uh, sweet potato. So, yeah. yeah. So did, when you started doing this, so you did 30 days, it, it took you like 30 days to like get it out of your system. And then how long till you saw results where you look, were losing weight and, or you got down to your weight? Cause I know you said you yo-yoed up and down. Um, yeah, my highest weight, feet tall, was you know one. What? You, you got, you cut off, Janie. Oh, I said, oh, yeah, there's some background noise. Um, my highest weight, and I'm five feet tall, was 140, and that's really heavy. So when I started this, I was 125, and I lost weight from doing this right away. I mean, I probably lost 15 pounds in a month. I think it was a lot of bloat, too, from all the sugar and the carbs I was eating. Mm -hmm. And, um, and the, great thing is that I've kept it off. So now I'm very low, but I'm healthy. My doctor says it's okay. I'm 91. It's amazing. I'm thinner than I was in school. Wow. Are we, yeah. are we already? So before I told you it's going to go fast. So before we do that, to add on to that, besides weight loss, yeah. what other things have you felt in your body, getting rid of the sugar, getting rid of the grains? Like how was it before? And then how, what, what changes? besides the weight. Yeah. Um, well, that's good because um, now being older, health is important. Before it was what I looked like, staying thin. So now I'm thin, but I could have a lot of medical issues and I don't. I have blood tests, they're very good. I have no problem with really anything. I have some arthritis, but there's certain foods even for that that I can take care of. I mean, that's a, a inherited condition, unfortunately. But um, I feel healthy. I have a lot of energy. The sugar sat my energy. And also I went into a lot of depression. Um, I was, I would, you know, be up and then go down. And uh, it really affected my moods. And I just would crash. Almost like, it was like a drug. Passed out. Yeah. Passed out. And I don't know more. Yeah, sugar's addictive. It is like a drug. It's like a, um, a, li a legal drug, unfortunately. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jamie. I mean, I really appreciate you sharing it because I think it's important that, you know, what you did, you did, you, you took action. You learned what you were carb sensitive. You took action and, um, and that's the key. And then you, you made, and I think it just takes a little discipline and it becomes great habits that you've established for 26 years. That's, that's amazing. Almost 26 years. You go girl. That's amazing. Thank you, Kim. You know, I'm happy to share with anybody my journey because if I can do it, anybody can do it. Absolutely. And I appreciate yep. that because that, that lets everyone, you know, that lets people know that, hey, you know, and I always try to encourage, do not give up on yourself no matter what's going on, no matter how old you are, what kind of shape you're in, you know, you can always reverse. You can always make it rever uh, okay. reverse it. So and feel better and age better. That's what we want to yep. do. So age well. So Anyway, well, thank you again, Janie. And people, if- Thank you, Rob. And if anyone has any questions, please drop them below and we can uh, answer the questions. And Janie, you know, I'm sure you wouldn't mind if somebody reached out to you. Oh, uh, not at all. That's okay. fine. Perfect. Thank you very much. And so- All right, thanks. See you guys okay. next week. Bye-bye. Okay.